Hello and welcome to Katie Picks. Today we're going to serve ourselves a little slice of pie. Chicken, tarragon and mushroom pie to be exact. Now I know what you're thinking. Kate, you're all about the speedy recipes. Pie isn't a speedy recipe, but this one is. And you know what? It's absolutely delicious too. First things first, we're going to preheat our oven to 200 degrees. And we're going to pop a hob proof dish onto our hob on a high heat. Now this will be enough for two to three people, depending on how generous you're feeling or greedy, you know. So that's going to go on a nice high heat and into that we're going to add in about a tablespoon of oil, lovely, and two chicken breasts, which I've just diced up into nice thin strips and that's going to go in there as well. Oh, an immediate frazzle, that's what we like to hear. Now into your chicken breast we're going to add a knob of butter and we're going to season it up with some salt and pepper too. So that chicken filling is already starting to cook. We're then going to add in some gorgeous tarragon which is one of my favourite herbs. Absolutely delicious, quite an aniseedy flavour to it and some thyme as well and then that is going to go into our pan as well. Gorgeous. Into that we're going to add two finely sliced shallots and our mushrooms. So I've got 100 grams of button mushrooms here, which again I've just very sli finely sliced. <laughs> very finely sliced and that's going into our pan as well. Give it a really good stir. Oh wow, you can smell that tarragon already. That's absolutely beautiful. And you're also getting a nice bit of colour on the bottom of that pan too, which is going to add beautifully to the flavour of it all. Okay, now, that's a very nice pie filling, but it's not very saucy, and I likes me a saucy pie. I've got here creme fraiche. I'm going to add one nice heaped tablespoon straight into the pan. I'm then going to add in a teaspoon of plain flour that's going to help us bind it and make that sauce that little bit thicker. Put that in as well. I'm then going to add in a pinch of cinnamon. Bear with me on this one. It's just lovely with its little sweetness that just picks up all of those flavours. And then we're going to add in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. That's going to go in there as well. And for some liquid, I've got some chicken stock here, which has already been pre-made. Of course, you can buy this pre-made. You can make it yourself or you can get yourself on those little stock cubes. Sort yourself out a pint easily. I'm actually going to add in about 100 20 mils, but you basically want to add in enough until the consistency suits you. We're going to drop the heat right down to low. And what's a pie without a lid? So we're going to use, cheatingly, but we're going to use shop bought puff pastry, which comes so simply in a lovely pre made roll. And I'm going to roll out enough and chop that off. Now, if you have got excess pastry, that is not a bad thing. In fact, I really like that about this recipe. So we're literally going to take this, we're going to plonk it on top. Please be careful as the pan will be hot. And then you're just going to let the sides of it drape into your pie. Plus it adds a nice little kind of look about it. We're then going to glaze it to make it look even more moorish. Brush that glaze over the top. And it's as simple as that, people. That is now going to go into our preheated oven. That is whacked up to 200 degrees, and it gave me a little ding to say that it was ready. And it is going to go in there for about 20 minutes, or until you can see that the puff pastry has gone gorgeously golden brown. Oh, wait, all the pie! Katie did, because it's flippin' delicious. I'm actually going to try it now, though. This has been in the oven for about 20 minutes. Ah, oh, hear that crisp and goldenness. Mmm! <gasps> going to be hotter than the sun. It's so good. Steam. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, that's one of those flavours that takes you back to when you're like nine and your grandma made your pie. Is that just my grandma? Is that the Scouse? That is so good. So tasty. So saucy and delicious. And the tarragon in that, wow. The fragrant flavour of that is phenomenal. Guys, please give this recipe a go. In fact, I want to know, what is your favourite pie filling? 
please tell me in the comments box below. Let's get that conversation rolling. And if you've tried this, please don't forget to share a picture with me on social media, at the Katie Fix, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and all of the above. Until next time, guys, I've got a whole pie to eat. And oh my goodness, that is so good.